Hi Adrian, the bee farmer here with Ecrotech Beekeeping Supplies today. We're just going to be filming a short video on the skills of marking queen bees. We're going to be doing two different methods. One's a free-handed marking pen and we're just going to pick her off the frame very gently and we're going to mark her by hand and we're going to use this little one-handed catcher and then it's also got a slide inside that you can use to just to very gently push the queen up into here and mark her without having to physically touch her. We've also got young Barkley here today and he wants to learn how to mark queen bees. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to bring him out. He's gonna have a bit of a practice on some drones. So obviously they can't sting, so it'll give him an opportunity to learn just handling the bees without squashing a valuable queen bee. Okay, mate, if you wanna pass me the smoker, we'll just give this nuke a bit of a smoke. Yep, that's all right, mate. We don't want to use too much smoke when we're trying to find a queen because it can actually stir her up and move her around, so minimal smoke. And these nucleus hives are only about two weeks old. Um, they're virtually brand new, they're made up on foundation. If you want to just pop that back over there, mate, carefully, and lay it up on its end. Yep. Out there. So the first frame, we're going to pull it out very, very, very slowly because if the queen bee's on there and we roll her off and she falls down into the box, it's very, very difficult to find her. And when you're trying to find a queen bee, you want to be holding the frame out far away from you. And rather than trying to actually look for a physical queen, just sort of using your peripheral vision, you're trying to notice anything that's slightly different on the frame and she will stand out. We've got some eggs in here, which is a good sign. It tells us that there is a queen bee, or there has been a queen bee here within the last three days. And I always like to check my first frame quite thoroughly and then leave it out of the box out of the way. And then each other frame, I put them back inside the box. It's a very common mistake of people pulling frames and look for her and leave the queen out of the box and they get to the last frame and they haven't found her. Then she could be anywhere on the ground, walking around, I've seen them end up on people's suits and things like that so and there she is so if you want to pass me that one-handed catcher mate we'll we'll scoop her up simply Okay, so all I've done is place that catcher over the queen bee with it open, and she's walked straight inside there. And then I'll gently put this frame back inside. Okay. And we might just let these other couple of bees out that have followed her in. Yep. And then as you can see, we're just gonna slowly push that up. until she's trapped in like that. Now with our marking pen, you never just put the mark straight on the queen because often these will build up with pressure from being in the sunshine and things like that. So I always test the pen on the side of the box till we've just got a nice mark. And then if I hold her in place, only marking this little bit here. There we go, she's all marked and ready to go back in the colony. We'll move on to our next method of catching the queen by hand and marking her. Okay, so now on to our next technique, we'll be free marking the queen bee. As before, nice and slowly removing the frame. That's it mate, you got her. Okay, so Barclay's pointed out the queen bee here and what I'm gonna do is just grab her by the wing I'm gonna rest that frame down there on the box. And then very, very gently, I wanna grab her around the side of the thorax, just like that. And nice pressure, being careful not to touch the abdomen and put pressure on the abdomen. Then I'm gonna, again, test my marker pen on the side of the box. And then very, very, very nice and gentle. Just mark her like that. 
little bit of a blow just to dry the paint a little. Yep. And then there she is, happily walking back across the comb. Now I know that she's in the middle of that frame, I'm going to put that back in against the position quite quickly because I know she hasn't been squashed between the bars. I'll gently put this back together. And as I said before and Barkley um, demonstrated, it's a great idea to practice on drone bees. It can be very confusing for other people if they come and have a look at your bees and everyone thinks the drone's the queen bee because she's marked, but it's a great idea to practice on the drones first, get used to handling the bees without squashing them and without the risk of being stung. And once you're confident and you're comfortable to pick bees up, then obviously move on to the queen bee. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.